Hi guys, this is Reborn Baby Loves, and this is the tutorial I promised you guys. Um, I know most of you have probably not watched my little pouch video yet, but I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you how to make this. It's a little pouch you can use to carry just about anything small. Um, so first of all, what you need. Is very simple. You need a scissors. You need a piece of preferably unwanted material, um, or just a piece of like material. It doesn't have to be this big, but it has to be, you know, big enough that it's gonna like fit your, you know, when you cut it into a circle, like it's gonna fit, you know, what you want to use it for. So let's start. I'm sorry if the camera's a little bit dark. Um. Like, all you gotta do is basically cut a circle out of your, oh, I'm doing, I'm holding the scissors the wrong way. Well, holding them the right way would help. Um, first of all, you gotta cut a circle out of your cloth, whatever, whatever, um, whatever cloth you may use, you just cut a circle big enough to, like, you know, hold what you want, you know, it to hold. Basically, you try to make like all the it even and like you know, not like raggedy, um, because, well, because it'll look nicer, you know. So you want to cut slowly. Like I apologize if you can't see because the I don't really have any light in here. I should do this during sunlight when it's sunny out, but you know. Probably wouldn't be any better. Plus, the the fabric is dark too. So, see, I'm turning the fabric. Like, you need to turn the fabric. Like, seriously, that's very important that you turn the fabric. Like, when you're cutting it, because you don't want to like, you know. And also, it help if you do it on a hard surface. Like, I was gonna do it on the bed, but then I worried I'd cut the sheet, so I decided to do it on this table. So please do this, if you're going to do this, do this on a hard surface, so I would highly recommend that you do this on a hard surface. So, next, check your fabric. Like, this is what mine looks like, but this is not how I want it to be, because for one, is not a perfect circle, and for another thing, it is too big. So, yeah, like, if you want to, you can, like, keep it like this, like how mine looks, but... Like mine is like too big for what I need it for, so um like I'm gonna like cut about, you know, an inch off around. So I'm gonna like try to make it, you know, nice and even around. Okay, so that looks good that way. You have to make it perfectly round, that's the thing. You've gotta make it be perfectly round. If it's not perfectly round, well let's just say it'll look funny. And it probably won't look very nice. You know what? So you wanna make sure it's like perfectly round. Um it should come out looking something like this. Then you wanna like locate like which side you wanna use on. More than likely, if you're using, like, you know, one side, like, cloth, like, designed cloth, like, you'll want to, like, use, you know, the, the the design outside, but if you're, like, using a piece of t-shirt material, it really doesn't matter, like, which side you use. If you're going to carry a doll in it, I'd suggest you put the softer side inside, unless you have them in a blanket or something, like, I don't know. And then you want to, like basically fold like you know like fold the like well of course they're not corners but you want to fold the sides yeah you're thinking circles have a side well look at this well you really can't see but um yeah and then you just make little tiny like little tiny cuts like about not even like not even a fourth of an inch like just little tiny ones like um Oh, I forgot to mention you need ribbon or some kind of, like, string. I think I forgot to mention you need ribbon or some kind of string to, like, 
you know, to, like, basically this is what I'm using. I'm using the ribbon I already, that my husband bought me at Walmart, so, like, this is how big, I'm going to show you right here, this is how big your hole should be, no bigger than that, like, basically, because if you have too big of holes, then, you know, whatever you keep in there is going to fall out, you know, but, so you don't want, you want to make sure you don't have too big of holes, so, basically, and you want to make sure also that you don't, like, fold over your fabric too much when cutting it, because you don't want, I'm having a little trouble, you don't want, basically, you don't want the fabric to, like, I mean, you don't want the, you do not want the fabric to, um, to, like, fold in too much, and then you, like, end up, you know, then you end up with, like, you know, too much, like, too much leeway. Like, not enough place to put your stuff and, like, your doll, like, your one-of-a-kind polymer clay baby or whatever you want to carry in here, basically. Like I said in the video about the pouch, you know, whatever you want to carry in here, basically, you can carry in here as long as it's, like, you know, the right size, you know, to fit inside. You know, I want to, like, make this, like, a little tiny bit bigger. Just a little bit. So, if I end up folding that one over too far. But I think I'll keep that one back then because one's basically, yeah. Okay, so, you just want to make the holes, like, about, maybe not even an eighth of an inch. See, about between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch, you want to... They cut the little holes, and then this is what it should look like, like little little holes like that. I mean, I know that looks huge on camera, but that's probably my biggest hole. Um, then you like want to take, then you want to take your ribbon and like go like this, you know, and like, oops, <laughs> having a lot of bloopers here, and then decide where you like want it to hang and make it a couple inches longer than where you want it to hang because like you basically want you know room to, like tie a pretty ribbon um if you're a boy and you want to do this i would suggest like you use if you have like the t-shirt that you use like to or like you know or something more mannish like leather like leather string or something i would suggest you use that because I mean, yeah, guys can wear ribbon too, of course, but I mean, you just might want to look more manly, I'm just saying for you guys, if any guys watch this, you know, um, I'm just saying, and then, basically string, you know, this through the holes, I will show you, real quick, you just go in, one, well, you can go out and then in, or you can go in and then out. It doesn't really matter. It's going to end up the same anyway. And you just, like, make sure, you know, if you're using ribbon, I would definitely make sure, that, like, you know, that it's even. Like, you know, like, basically like this. You know, like, every time you, like, pull it through, you want to make sure it's even so it looks nice. And, you know, for us girls, like, looking nice is, like, you know... A big thing, you know, we like to look good when we go out, you know. I think, I think this pouch is, like, way better than my box. I mean, my, my box is great, don't get me wrong, but I just think, you know, the pouch is, like, yeah. Again, even out the things. Again, the pouch, I mean, bleh. the box is great, but the pouch is better, like, when you want to, you know, be able to, like, you know, watch, like, if it's something you want to watch all the... I don't have a hole there. How the heck did I not get a hole there? That's interesting. I'm having a lot of bloopers today. There we go. Yeah, you gotta make sure you have enough, like, holes, you know, like, to, like, lace it in and out, you know what? If you can put your thumb through it, it's probably, like, too big, but, you know, hey, that's how... You know, that's how it is. Like, you want to make sure it's even. Unless, of course, you're using leather. Like, I mean, for you, like, more tomboyish girls and you guys, you might want to use, like, leather string or something. So, I guess it really doesn't matter. You know, like. Plus, you 
probably won't be. I'm thinking about buying some design. You know, I'm trying to like find the next hole. Um, I'm thinking about buying some design like cloth and like making like one of these out of you know out of the design cloth. The only problem with design cloth is it almost has to be perfect. Or and I missed a hole. It almost has to be perfect, or people are gonna you know notice that it's not perfect. I mean, probably no one's not going to notice that it's not perfect except you. But, you know, if you want to make yourself happy, like, make it perfect or almost perfect. I'm, like, messing this up to the max. I want to do a really good tutorial. I guess I can fix this after. This really doesn't matter too much as long as it, like, looks okay. It's not like it's all going to show up at once, you know. Just try to make it, you know, nice. Like... I realize this tutorial is taking forever because I'm talking while I'm doing it, but... Oh, and guys, um, I wanted to let you guys know, maybe I should do another video, but I really don't want to, like, do another video. I want to let you guys know that, um, the lady that's doing, like, making over Nevea, she's actually, like, doing a, um custom for me well not custom but she's making the bit into a custom basically and she just contacted me today and asked me you know what hair color I want what skin tone I want um like do we want a boy or a girl do we want like you know and the neat thing was she didn't like like just put the actual day of completion as a birth date she actually put like do you want a specific date as the um as do you want a specific date as the birth date? And um well of course I said since it was supposed to be my first baby's um birth date, um I said September eighth, so that was when my first baby was due to be born, so back when I was fifteen. So I chose that date. Um because this baby is supposed to represent, you know, stall, like, I mean, she didn't represent that for, like, the longest time, but now I just decided, you know, instead of buying, like, a reborn for, you know, all my babies, if I could afford to do that, I would definitely, like, get a reborn for all my babies, like, what I would picture them looking like, but they'd be full-size, you know, reborns, they wouldn't be, like, you know, little ones, you know, they wouldn't be, like, memorial babies, they'd be, like, actual, like, size, I forgot another hole, they'd be actual size reborns, so, like, I would want, you know, a doll that I can actually take out of the house and have people think it's real, but, I mean, it's not because I, like, want to, you know, I don't know, like, just reborns are really fun to have because, you know, they're, like, like real good therapy and stuff. I mean, if you don't have psychological problems, it's still nice, you know, to have like a baby to come home to. Plus, like for me, it's really not financially feasible for me to like, you know, like have a kid, much less, you know, well, adopt. Let's just say adopt a lot of reborns, much less, you know, have a kid. So it's probably more feasible for me to have one or two than to have a whole bunch and like, have one or two I really love, which I'm hoping I really love Nevea. Like, knowing her work, like, I've actually seen her website with her previous work, so hopefully I will, um, be happy. I know I will be, I know, because I've seen her previous work, and, like, I'm positive I'll be, like, happy, you know, with, with like, what I'm getting, so. And I totally just messed this up. Sorry, guys. Like, this is actually supposed to be, like, two holes, and one's supposed to be, like, going out. So I'm going to, like, try to make, like, try to make another hole. I'm sorry, guys, if I really messed up this tutorial. Like, you know, like, seriously. I'm really sorry, guys. Because, like, I was, like, yapping, so. I'm sorry if you guys, like, are getting bored. Um, hang on, I'm trying to, like, finish this up quickly. Then you might want to, like, put
push out your pouch to like, nope, see actual size it's gonna be. Push it out, you know. And then like, you know, like, yeah, untwist the ribbon if it's twisted. And then, and then you like, make the ribbon even. Like make the ribbons even. That's very important. And then you tie a ribbon. Tie the ribbon the length you want. And then you like just like you know tie it like that. And then you can pull it. You can either leave it on the back of your neck, or you can like pull it and like. There is your pouch. Okay. I got a few scrap pieces and lots of ribbon left. Um sorry guys if I majorly screwed up that tutorial and thank you for like viewing my video all the way to the end. I will make another one updating you more on my custom like Nevea, so thanks for viewing. Bye.